Is there a specific reason why you paint both abstract and figurative works? There are many things I want to say and explore that I need both. I use the figurative to tell stories or remark moments in life. I enjoy it because it gives me the opportunity to break the known human proportions to create an interesting and balanced reading on the canvas. With time, I have developed a special appreciation for eyes and hands, and I have given them an important role in my work. Instead, the abstract is an exploration of composition through color and forms to translate feelings and experiences into physical objects. What I like the most is the challenge to find the right answer without using any relation to nature. Once I find the answer, a great feeling invades me. From an early age, did you think you would become an artist? At an early age, I never thought what I wanted to be, but I was painting, drawing, or doing creative things most of the time. Later in college, I knew I wanted to do something creative and I tried different visual areas as graphic design and illustration until I found myself in painting. But sometimes I still do illustration, I enjoy playing with it because the media I use is different as is the purpose. Doing this refreshes my mind and keeps me away from repetition. Is there a color that it means more to you or that is your favorite? Color has a lot of power and in my work it plays a very important role. It deserves great attention and that is why I am exploring it continuously to find different atmospheres. Each color has its own feeling but what is great about it is how its meaning can change depending on which color is next to it and the proportion it takes related to the space. There are colors that stay with me for a certain time and that can be read in my work. And green is a color that I don't use very often. My favorite one is blue. Being from Bogota, Colombia and living in Houston for many years, how does that translate into your work? My hometown, Bogota, Colombia and Houston, Texas are very different. There is a lot of contrasting in landscape, weather, people and culture. It has been a big change in my life and of course it has influenced in many aspects my work, filling it with emotions and experiences. Houston has been a great place and I have found support from friends, institutions, the city and this museum. I feel blessed to be here. How do you see your work evolving going forward? Well, I will continue exploring the figurative and abstract with a free expression, but without losing my intent in the composition. I'll keep searching opportunities and challenging myself because it is there where my work can move forward. And I'm always curious how my next painting is going to be. What advice can you give artists starting out? To learn the rules and to pay extra attention to things, experiences that bring emotions, whether good or bad ones. The point is to start being aware of these things and events near you, and is that what will lead you to develop a more personal and honest work. What does this museum exhibition mean to you? I want to thank the Art Museum Texas for the support and for opening the doors to my work. Also, I want to thank Anna, the museum director, for visiting my studio. It was a great experience to have the chance to share with her my work in a more personal way. Uh, having my work for the first time in a museum is a big step in my career and it motivates me to keep creating. This opportunity to reach a new audience is very important and I hope it brings a positive impact in the community because 
at the end everything is about sharing. <laughs>